Hi everyone. I am not going to try and go through this whole thing because it is complex. However, I do want to go through, I'm going to put, uh, upload this PowerPoint and I do want to kind of explain a couple things. Um, and I want to do it in the context of um, a story um, that we are reading. So I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt to do this through Big Bad Wolf is Good. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Um, and we're only going to hit like six of these theories. Um, and you don't have to memorize them. You don't have to be even very good at them. You just have to be aware of them enough to kind of try to use them, right? So please don't stress about this. Um, the Okay, so um, this is a PowerPoint that a friend of mine um, put together. And it's very, very heavy. Lots of thick stuff. Uh I encourage you to, to kind of peruse it, um, and I'll just kind of leave that there for a second so you can pause and you can read that. Um, I would suggest trying to go in there, definitely. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, wow, they do have a lot. Holy cow. Love you. Any ideas for dinner tomorrow? Um, I'll figure it out. Okay. If you don't figure it out while I'm out this morning, that's fine. I can pick it up on my walk and I get to camp and then I'm on my way home tomorrow so I'm going to have to be here early. Okay. But I can go tomorrow at some point and we can go together. Okay. All right, back to the lecture. I'm, I'm recording a lecture. That's okay. It's totally okay. I love you. Hey, I love you. Drive safe. Well, honey. I know, honey. Okay, so back to the lecture. Um, uh, formalism or new criticism um, the idea with that is that the text is all that matters so all we have to work with with Big Bad Wolf is good is the text itself we don't have any background about the Big Bad Wolf we don't have any background about the author we don't know anything about the ducks we don't know anything about fairy tales all we have is that particular text at that particular time um, and um, and that's okay um, not everybody um, functions in that way. This is really kind of older uh, literary theory. Um, what's that? Oh, yeah. Um, and um, let me put the other thing in my face. Okay, so. Uh, what does the form say about its content, for example? Um, this could have been done in a short story, but it's in a picture book. Um, so what is that? Um, why is that and what happens? Tara. Um, Marxism, um, it's not, it's not... It's not about Marx, um, necessarily. It's about economic criticism. Um, so who does it benefit? Does it benefit the elite? Does it benefit the middle class? Um, Marxism is about looking at socioeconomic status and about um, working classes and, and, and lower classes. Um, and so within the context of Big Bad Wolf is Good, we might talk about how... Um, uh, the big bad wolf has been, um, you know, privileged as a villain and boy, that's not very good. Uh, we can talk about the differences. Uh, we don't have any evidence that, that he even has a home. So we can talk about that in the context of the ducks and maybe it's not fair and so on. Um, reader response. Um, essentially, it's interpreting what you want to interpret. 
structuralism, I don't think this one's a bit complicated, actually. So essentially, what you're doing is you're looking at, um, you're looking at what things represent other things, right? So if I say wolf, um, do we have a common understanding of what that means? If I say big bad wolf, do we have a common understanding of what that means? Um, in structuralism, there's always a binary. There's always a good and a bad. Think God, man, binary. Man, woman, binary. Um, uh, good, evil, binary, right? And so we can say, we can talk about that, of course, within um, within the context of Big Red Wolf is good, because there's, um, it does get muddled, right? Um, when we talk about post-structuralism, however, post-structuralism basically says that, that that binary is BS, right? And you can't, um, you can't work within that binary because life is more complex, things are more complex. And anyway, if I say wolf, maybe you think wolf from the story and I think um, wolf from you know the wild and so we have to talk about this in order to come to a common understanding deconstructionism um, is about breaking the text down um, it's about minute details and then postmodernism is um, actually it's one of my favorites because you can do a lot of conjecture with it you can talk about how the whole thing is a simulation um, and uh, you know what are we working with we're working with a simulated fairy tale and a fairy tale is uh, excuse me is the simulation of, of regular life and so forth um, historicism um, then you have some of the social theories. Postcolonialism looks at at um, the dynamics of power, especially power of westernized countries, Britain, America, France, um, Spain, Portugal, that kind of thing, and how places were colonized and, and what role does it play? Um, does the fact that the big bad wolf um, moved into the Ducks neighborhood um, matter at all? Um, is he taking over? There's some questions there. Um, feminism is looking at it through um, through the lens of the possible oppression or um, suppression of women, um, especially in those areas, economic, political, social, and psychological. Um, gender and queer theory. Um, is similar except it talks about gender and um, LGBTQ issues. Um, it's not as simple as male and female, man and woman, um, that binary. Um, it is way more complex, and but basically it deals with how is gender, how is sex, how is um, sexuality represented in this text. Um skip over a couple does the same thing but um, with race and culture and ethnicity um, same thing but with disabilities um, and there you have it my crash course on literary theory again you don't have to, to know this perfectly you don't have to know this like like very well just be aware of of that that these are things right and yeah I think that's it thanks <laughs>